Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I wanted to walk you through the steps on how to install the Ubuntu operating system on your computer. So now this guide is going to be for those who are interested in getting started with running a Cardano stake pool. Now, in the channel, I did go ahead and let you all know I'm going to be doing my best to keep you all up to date with the software side of things. So I appreciate your patience with that. I'm trying to get the ball rolling here. This is going to be one of the first steps after you've created your PC or after you've purchased your build that's ready to go. As far as the version of the operating system we're going to be installing today, it's going to be the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS version. Now you can get away with other versions of Linux operating system, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna be using Ubuntu today. All we'll need in order to get this installed on our computer is gonna be a standard USB drive. You can get away with probably 16 gigabytes. A little bit less than that, maybe not ideal, but if you do have more than 16 gigabytes, you should be okay. And then the other thing we'll need is a computer that we can use to install the software called Balana Etcher. So once you have those two, we're ready to get started. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for joining me here today. To get started, I did just want to say if you guys do find some value from this video, please be sure to hit that like button. If you do have any comments or questions about anything that we're talking about today, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with Cardano information. So to get things started, now that we've got our USB drive and our computer ready to go, we're going to go ahead and download the software called Balana Etcher. This is going to allow us to flash our USB drive with the version of the operating system that we're going to install on our computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join you at our computer. I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll walk over to our workstation here to be able to install the version of the operating system using our flash drive. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so we are here at the computer and I wanted to show you where we are at. So what I did was I went and did a quick Google search for our version of the operating system that we're gonna be installing for our stake pool. In this instance, we wanted to look for Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. There are many different versions of Ubuntu or even Linux operating systems altogether. You can also consider something like Debian, for instance. But in this instance, for the sake of this video, we're going to choose Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. If you were to do a quick Google search, you can find it like that. But I will also be sure to leave a link for you guys down in the description. So that way you have easy access to it if you did decide to choose this operating system. What we can do from here, we can select our disk image. So we have a desktop image and we have a server install image. The difference between the two is that a desktop image is going to come with a graphical user interface. This is going to be what I would recommend for most people if you do decide you wanted some type of user experience other than just a command line interface, I would recommend a desktop image for most people. If you're comfortable with just having the command line interface for having bare bones as an operating system, you can also do the server install image. But for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and click on this option right here. And this is going to download the version of that operating system. Now I've already done that just to speed things up a little bit. And then after we've downloaded that disk image, what we'll have to do is head over to Balana Etcher. The website name is balana.io. Again, I'll be sure to leave a link for you guys down in the description. Essentially what we'll have to do if you haven't done so already, you just wanna click down at the bottom where it says download. This is going to download the software for your respective operating system on your computer. After you've done so, if you go to your applications, you'll be able to see that application. And when you open it, this is what you would see. Very straightforward. It's a simplistic design. And with this, what we can do is we can actually choose the disk image that we're going to use to install the operating system. You want to make sure that you've got your USB drive installed so that way the target can be set to your USB stick. And then from there you would just click on flash. So for us, we've got our version of Ubuntu installed on our desktop. We can choose select image and we'll see it pop up right here. So we're going to click on this. We're going to select the image by opening it. 
And then from here, it'll ask us to select the target. Now, in this instance, you wanna make sure that you've got your USB drive connected to your computer. I'm not gonna do so in this instance because I've already got the USB drive ready to go for the sake of this video. But for you, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and connect your USB drive to your computer. That way you can select the drive to install the operating system. So once you click on select target, you'll be able to flash that image onto your USB drive. And that's it. It's a very straightforward process. After you flash the disk image, it'll give you the option to eject the USB after it is completed and you will have successfully installed that version of the operating system as a bootable device on a USB stick. So next, let's go ahead and take a look back at our workstation. We're gonna go ahead and install this version of the operating system from our USB drive onto our computer. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we are back at our workstation. We've successfully installed the version of Ubuntu 20.04 on our USB drive. I went ahead and connected that to our computer here that we're gonna be using to install that operating system. In this instance, as we can see, I've currently got Windows 10 loaded. In order to be able to change the operating system on your PC, what you would wanna do in the instance that you do have a Windows computer, at the very bottom on the, on the left-hand corner, if you choose the Windows icon, you should see the option for the Start menu. So when you click on it, if you choose the option that looks like a gear icon, you'll see the settings icon. So if you click on that, and then at the top of the search bar, you can just type in startup. We essentially need to change the advanced system startup settings. So we'll type in startup and we can see it says here, change advanced startup options. So we'll click on that. And then here, it'll give us the option to start up from a boot device, such as a disc or a USB drive. So that's what we wanna do. Essentially, we'll have to use the USB that's connected to our computer in order to go through the process of installing this new operating system. So what I'm gonna do is click on Restart Now. This is gonna restart our PC, and it'll give us the option here as a menu to use a device. So I'm gonna click on that. And here we can see you've got a couple options. So I've got a few peripherals that are connected to my computer. Namely, I've got a ethernet connection. I've got a USB dongle that's connected for Bluetooth connectivity for a wireless mouse and keyboard. And I've got a USB drive with the operating system installed. So we can see here SanDisk. This is gonna be what we're looking at for what has our operating system. You just wanna make sure you pay attention to the devices that it's picked up on. If you do have multiple devices that are connected to your PC, in this instance, we've installed the operating system on our SanDisk thumb drive. So I'm gonna click on this, and it's gonna boot from this thumb drive. The computer is gonna restart, and in order to boot into our BIOS, what I'm gonna do is continually press the escape key. So what that did, in this instance, we can see it took us to our BIOS for this computer. At the very top, I'm not sure how well you guys can see it with the camera, so please bear with me. What I'm gonna do is select on the boot option, so I can just arrow over at the very top, it shows boot. And we can see down here at the bottom where it says boot option number one. What we wanna do is change this so that it boots from our USB drive. So if you click enter, and we can see here, it picks up on a couple of different drives. I'm gonna choose SanDisk for our boot device. Click on that. Boot option two and boot option three are redundant. It's not necessary to have to worry about that. Just to make things very straightforward, I'm just going to go ahead and disable both of those boot options. Okay, so as we can see what we've got laid out here in our BIOS, we're only going to be booting from our USB device that's connected to our PC. All these other boot options have been disabled. Nothing else has been changed. After we've done that, we can arrow over and we can save changes and exit. It'll ask us to save. Do we want to do that? We'll click on yes. And here we can see that it has recognized the Ubuntu operating system on our USB drive. What we're gonna do, I guess it just timed out there, so it should automatically prompt us here with the installation setup. Perfect, okay, and as we can see at the bottom, it shows Ubuntu. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna take us through the installation process of putting Ubuntu on our PC. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna wait for this to download. I'll just quickly jump forward in time a little bit 
to skip through this and then we'll go through the process of installing this operating system. So from here we can choose our language. I'm going to choose English and then it'll give us the option to install Ubuntu. So I'm going to click on that. Now this is going to be specific for you in your instance. You want to go ahead and follow these prompts. I'm going to walk you through this process here up until the point where it'll ask us for our username and password. Up until then, it's going to be very straightforward. You just want to go ahead and follow the prompts. In this instance, it's asking us to choose our keyboard layout. So this is fine. We're going to choose English for the United States. So next is going to ask us to click on what type of installation we like for our operating system. In this instance, we've got two options. We can choose normal installation or minimal installation. For the sake of this video, we're just going to go through the normal installation process. And then we're going to choose the option here to also download updates while installing Ubuntu. So I'm going to click on continue. Now, this is where if you do decide you wanted to dual boot, let's say if you have a um, different hard drive that you could potentially store Ubuntu and you could keep Windows on a separate drive, you could definitely do that. So you do have options. In this instance, what I'm going to do is essentially erase the drive that currently holds the Windows operating system and replace that with Ubuntu. So the option here in the middle, it's saying erase disk and install Ubuntu. This is going to allow us to remove the version of Windows and replace that with Ubuntu. So when I click on that, I can choose install now. And this is going to go ahead and install that operating system. It's saying, are you sure? We just want to go ahead and continue. Next, it's going to ask us our time zone. So depending on where you are in the world, you just want to go ahead and choose your time zone. I'm here in the United States. We're on the East Coast. So New York is fine. That's a default option. So we can click on continue. And then from here, it's going to ask us to give us some more information about who we are in terms of our username and password. So what I'm going to do is quickly fill out this information and we'll be back to go ahead and continue with this installation guide. So guys, that is pretty much it. After you've successfully entered in all of your username and password information, the operating system will continue to download on your PC. And from there, you will have a copy of Ubuntu 20.04 installed on your computer. So that is pretty much it for this guide here today. I hope you guys did find some value from this video. If you all did enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like for me before you go. And again, if you do have any comments or questions about anything that we talked about, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.